I am not suggesting that, you know, in order to behave ethically, we all have to make Winnie the Pooh. Um, no, I, I'm not suggesting that at all. Um, also, this is not going to be a dreary review of things like meta ethics and normative ethics and religious ethics and theory, 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 and we wind up talking about nothing. Um, instead, it's about applied or situational ethics, things that you can actually use in your writing career. Now, unless you are writing for yourself and exclusively for yourself, and nobody's ever going to read it, you're doing it as a cathartic exercise or because you think it's fun or whatever, that's great. Um, but if you want to actually make a living doing this, write screenplays, um, and be part of the film industry or television industry or webinar industry or whatever it might be, um, you're going to have an audience, right? So you have to think about what the audience's reaction to your work is going to be. Remember, you guys are the creators. Nothing happens without what you do. Nothing. Those are the stories that we, that we tell. If you can change it at the very base, it can change. It can change societally. As people watch more and more movies where that's done, it, you can gradually change what's going on. We're shaped by what we see and what we read, okay? So the goal, the, the, the goal that I would like to see is that we go back to the beginning, which is where you all are. You're the story. That's the beginning. And try gradually, slowly, carefully to change that. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds like a big thing, but it's not. It, 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 change happens a little at a time, right?